Hello, my name is Mark Kalababa, and I'm the President and CEO of Diamonds North Resources. Uh, this presentation is to give you a bit of insight into something we call the Esker property, and that's a project that we just recently acquired in Nunavut. In going through this presentation, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, I'll talk about a few different projects as well in the nearer region. I may come across a few forward-looking statements, so uh, just keep that in mind. As a, as a diamond explorer, we also look at other commodities and we have a strategy for these different metals. Uh, in terms of gold, our strategy is to acquire projects uh, with proven gold mineralization. We target areas that are underexplored. We want targets that are uh, inadequately tested by previous workers or drop because of low metal prices at the time. We're always looking for large scale uh, targets as well as uh, any kind of infrastructure that we can put into the area because don't forget we are working in the north and any infrastructure uh, helps us. Uh, we're focused in the north for a number of reasons. Uh, Nunavut is settled land for starters. It's got a good regulatory environment for land use permitting and it's one of these places that's very underexplored and you can still go out and find deposits on the surface. Nunavut is a new developing mining district. The first mine just opened up in 2010. It's the Meadowbank deposit. But this slide is quite interesting because it shows what is developing in terms of deposits. Here you've got the Hope Bay deposit. That's Newmont putting that in, this into production. It's a 9 million ounce deposit. Agnico Eagle last year put in the Meadowbank deposit, 3.2 million ounce gold deposit. And you know, you're looking at larger uranium deposits, 147 million pounds that Arriva is uh, trying to put into production for 2015. And then Agnico Eagle, after they put the Meadowbank deposit into production, they, they bought the Meliodine deposit, which is 5 million ounces. Now I'm going to focus in on something we call Esker. It's a project just covered by that orange box. And as we zoom in, you'll see that there's three claim blocks, all within one area that covers about 40 kilometers area. Each of these projects has got mineralization. Some are more advanced than others. And I'll start off with um, River. At, at the River showing, there's three main prospects. We're looking at uh, the, the first one's got numbers as high, grab samples as high as 6.3 to 3.2 grams per ton. Here you're looking at grabs that are in the order of 12 and 8 grams per ton. And then out here we've got grab samples as high as 84 and 43 grams per ton. A little bit further to the north, Yandel. We've got three prospects, high grab samples up to 52 and 18 grams per ton and here 51 and, and 26 grams per ton. But this central uh, prospect, you're seeing some drilling that's been done in the area with intercepts up to 11 grams per ton over three meters, uh, including a 16 uh, gram per ton zone over two meters. And both the river and Yandel both have, are, are underexplored. They both require follow-up to these exciting results. And the Esker prospect is a bit more advanced. And I'll just zoom into this right now. What you're looking at here is felsic volcanic rocks intruded, which are the, the pink color, and the purple rocks, which are gabbros. And gold is associated with these gab gabbroic rocks along the contacts near the felsic volcanics. I'll walk you through a few of these drill holes just to give you an impression uh, why we are so excited about the Esker property. Looking first at uh, drill hole 97-13, here you've got 2.35 grams per ton over 71 meters. What is interesting about this is you've got a number of high-grade zones within that 71 meter zone, S uh, numbers like 6.43 grams over 13 meters, 14.8 grams over 5 meters. So a lot of very good numbers within a very wide intercept. Just to the north of that, drill hole 15, again, a number of good intercepts, but in particular I want you to see the 8.18 grams per ton over 13.27 meters. And just one more, just to give you an idea, at a completely different gabbro body, uh, drill hole further to the east, drill hole number 56. Again, a lot of zones of, uh, of gold mineralization. And you've got a number of really nice intercepts, but look at the 7.6 grams over 12.8 meters. 6.68 grams over 6 meters, so some very nice looking uh, numbers. And just to give you an idea, further along, strike to the east. Again, 5.6 grams over 5.6 meters. Here you're still in that mineralization, so you're seeing some continuity. And then further, this is now 1.3 kilometers to the west, and you're still seeing 3 grams over 4 meters. Now I think what's interesting about this is it's very much underexplored. There's, uh, there's a lot of ground here to, to continue exploring. These yellow circles show where we would want to try to expand this mineralization. This shows that we've got a lot of potential for strike e expansion. The red circles show areas that we have identified out of interest because either one, they're, they're folded and these are good places for gold to collect, 
Uh, also, there are high-grade samples, soil samples, or rock samples that have not yet been tested or drill tested. So one of our first uh, objectives here would be to expand these zones, stepping out of the known areas uh, where, we've, where we know we've got mineralization, we'd step out slowly and continue to push this out and expand, but we also want to continue testing continuity. So on the Esker property, I think this is a really good opportunity for Diamonds North. Uh, Esker is, is exhibiting things like mineable grades. Uh, we can see some apparent continuity with what's been drilled so far. We're seeing mineable widths. And what we want to really focus on is stepping out from those known intercepts and to, just to really test the strike potential of, of Esker and see if we can build something with good uh, tonnage potential. Thank you.